Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabitifillah The question arises how do we seek refuge from the evil eye for our children? And in a very wonderful compilation by one of our brothers, Abbas Abu Yahya Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he mentions some of these fawa'id as compiled from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the authentic sunnah, and from the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. From Ibn Abbas Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhuma, who said the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to seek refuge for Al Hassan. And Al Hussein, he would say, I seek refuge for you too with Allah's perfect words from every shaitan and poisonous creature and every evil eye. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said that this is how Ibrahim used to seek refuge for Ishaq and Ismail. And this is collected in Bukhari and Tirmidhi. And it was authenticated by Imam al-Albani, rahimahumullah jami'an. Abu A'la Abdurrahman al-Mubarak Furi, rahimahullah ta'ala said, Allah's words, it has been said that they are the Qur'an. And it has also been said that they are Allah's names. Meaning when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the Prophet sallallahu said, A'udhu bi kalimatillah. Atam, meaning that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when uh, the, supplica the supplicant says, I seek refuge for you, for you two with Allah's perfect words. So Allah's perfect words, it uh, has been said that they are the Quran, and it has also been said that they are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names. Perfect, al jazairi said, indeed Allah's speech has been described as being perfect because it is not permissible for any of his speech to have deficiency or fault like there is in the speech of people because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes are divine and perfect. It has been said that the meaning of perfect here is that it benefits the one seeking refuge with these perfect words and protect him from the illnesses and this will be sufficient for him. Poisonous creature that is mentioned in here. Every type of creature that kills with poison. And it is possible that it could be it can mean any crawling animal, even if it does not kill, like insects, because insects sting, and insects have poisons like the aqrab, which is the scorpion. And this is something, especially in the time of the Prophet, وسلم, and for those who live in the desert lands, they are exposed to these kind of uh, harmful creatures often, scorpions. Uh, particular spiders and snakes. Uh, the evil eye, this refers uh, from every evil type of affliction from the eye, whether it be the hasid and the jealousy and people wanting harm to you or your child. So you're seeking refuge in Allah from this evil. How does one seek refuge from the evil eye for children? Imam al-Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala, was asked. The caller said, As-salamu alaykum. He said, Wa alaykum salam. O Shaykh, regarding, I seek refuge from you, uh, for you too, with Allah's perfect words from every shaitan and poisonous creature and every evil eye. Is this said three consecutive times or just once? The Imam replied, No, it is mentioned once. However, if it appears to the one saying this dua that he needs to repeat it without specifying three times, then there is no problem with that. And should he place his hand on the head of the one sought refuge for? The sheikh replied, yes, yes. Even in congregation, if it is a group of children together, how can he place his hand upon all of them? He should place his hands, his two hands on one, uh, he should place his two hands on two of the children, then repeat this on the rest of the children. The caller then said, right hand and left hand with both hands? The imam said, yes, yes. The caller then said, regarding the hadith that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, would not sleep until he recited Suratul Mulk, Al-Isra, Al-Zumr, uh, Sajda, 
Is this when he lies down on his bed at night or before he lies down? The Sheikh said, What is important is that he recites before he falls asleep. Whether it is whilst he is sitting or lying, then it is up to him. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless all the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah and bless the brother who was a translator and compiler of this, Yahya uh, ibn Abbas. <clears throat> And may Allah, uh, Abbas Abu Yahya, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.